morning, good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I had my mum and my sister stay last night, which was so wonderful. We had so many giggles and we got so much done. And we got up this morning and I just needed some help with some bits that I couldn't do on my own, like taking things to the tip and carrying things downstairs. Nigel is now downstairs, I'll show you later. And I went and I put air in my tires, dropped parcels, just, you know those errands that are way more fun to do with someone? Mum and I did those together while Sophie just chilled. But but yeah, they've headed out because they have commitments this morning and I am going to join them this afternoon for a lovely London day. But first, I am going to work out. I am really struggling with my joints right now, my hips. I have arthritis, so I'm really trying to keep myself mobile and moving. Otherwise, I know I'm going to seize up. So the workouts I'm doing right now aren't necessarily that intense but I'm really just trying to be consistent so I can, you know, actually move throughout the winter season. So yeah, they literally have just left and I am going to just do my thing. I will show you everything we've done to the house like when we get back. Actually, maybe before I go, it depends what time we have. I need to get on with it, but um, but yeah, welcome back to Vlogmas. It was so surreal going to bed last night with them downstairs. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Honestly, amazing. And like waking Sophie up this morning, I took Cody up there and he climbed on the bed and I was like, mom! Oh, so fun. Okay, I'm done and I thought I would show you the chaos in the guest bedroom. Um, look at this. The printer's out because I had to send a parcel. I need to find a scenario for this. I don't think it's going to go in the drawing room. I think it will ruin it. Unless I can put it in one of the cupboards. And one of the cupboards does have, I think, a socket. Maybe then. Uh, excuse me. This is his idea of a dream. Everything that smells like me and he gets to lay in here. Yeah, these are all of my clothes. And these are all here because I passed on the rails except from this one, which is my Amazon one that I love and I'll keep this forever. But yeah, I didn't Need all of them so they have been passed on and now this is my whole wardrobe and then tomorrow we will sort but for now i'm going to shower get ready and we'll head into town to meet my family i need to decide where we're going to go basically they want to do lunch and a little bit of like christmas browsing so i they want to go to covent garden well we are going to covent garden because mum has an appointment there but i feel like it's going to be busy so i'm thinking we should go somewhere just that's going to be a little quieter for like you know a late lunch and a sh like browsing of the shops and then maybe we go there just for the appointment i don't know i need to see how busy things are i mean it's a beautiful day so there's probably going to be a lot of people out and about but then again that's what brings the atmosphere and makes london magical isn't it so i'm not complaining but i have no idea what i'm going to wear it is freezing i am just so feeling the cold at the moment my poor hip <laughs> like i can't even explain to you my mom says she was like you need to go and get a steroid injection and i was like no because i'm like doing really well <laughs> being like minimally medicated and yeah I don't know. I'm about, I think I'm about at the point of admitting defeat and asking for help, but not yet. I'm going to try a few more things. I think I'm going to book myself in for some physio sessions, which I know won't really make a difference because it's probably my arthritis. But if I can keep it moving in my head, that helps. I need to start going in my sauna blanket again. I've not been doing that. I mean, maybe this is all my fault. <laughs> I rushed out the house because I felt like I was taking forever. And then I'm here and they're not even done. So I'm just taking a lovely stroll around Regent's Park just to past the time. I was like, I can go and sit in a coffee shop or I can go and, you know, go for a walk, like just up and down the street. And I was like, wait, no, I'm so close to Regent's Park and I've never been here. And I'm walking around and I've just had one of those, like, I love London moments. I get them every so often where it reminds me like why I love it here so much. And this is one of them, like, look at this. I'm like in the middle of the city and this is what it looks like. And there's humongous, beautiful houses. I don't know if you can see. I'll see if I can like peel off that way and show you. But it's just so magical and I'm so grateful that I've had the time to come and do this. Look at this. Tell me this isn't absolutely beautiful. I think it helps because it's a blue sky day. But the buildings, they're beautiful. I, yeah, I'm having a real moment right now. Look who I found. We're heading off into Common Garden. We're going to go to Seven Dials Market and grab some lunch. I can't remember what they have there, but I think they have bad ones. I'm pretty sure. We're in Brandy, she's shopping. What are you getting? Is this for Christmas? Yeah. What else are you getting? Cute, cute. This is Sophie's what I got for Christmas video. Oh, you don't get the magic. Lunchtime, what have you got, my love? I got the pork almonds and a Diet Coke because I'm so thirsty. Mum, what did you get? I got the lunch um, special. Chicken. 
And it's so good with the slaw. And I got the special prawn toast bao and we have some chips as well. I haven't been to Covent Garden since they put the decks up and this is so beautiful. But I didn't, I don't know if I didn't know. Oh, it's not open. They have a ladder egg, but I didn't know this was here. Has this always been here? I'm so confused. How cute is the little boot and the bear? Oh, I love that. <gasps> Could I have some ladder rack in my stocking, please? You can, but it's closed. I know. Stopping? Sorry? How are you stopping? You're not? I thought they cancelled the ones for the big girls. Due to lot, lack of space on the fireplace. You know, I'm having mine at my house. Mum's filling it, and then I'm having it. Father yeah. Christmas will bring it to my house. Emily Duh. makes her own rules. Duh. No. Duh. He Some knows where I live. That's a lie. Father Christmas knows. Scrooge. Scrooge. Anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, it's closed then. Where should we go? Let's go this way. I w I'm going to grab a coffee from Arabica, I think. How was your bow? Oh, it was very nice, actually. Mine was really yummy. How was yours? Really good. You thing. really liked yours, didn't you? Yeah, I did really like it. I really liked the prawn toast special thing, but I would say I thought it was going to be full size, and it was not full size. I was like, I am so glad we ordered chips, and they tasted just like McDonald's chips, and the ketchup yeah. tastes just like McDonald's ketchup. It's great. Look at the decks, they are massive. And the trees. You know what? As much as there are some really impressive trees in London, this one is always insane. You guys can help out. Look at uh, if you, if you want to help the show, please. This is the triangle pandan cake. Vanilla cake. It's super light and airy. Milky. Oh, that looks so good. Snowball. So we've ditched mum because now mum has somewhere she has to be that we weren't invited. So sad. So we're going to have a look in the Ugg shop to see if they have the slippers that I am trying to get hold of for Christmas. And of course I've left it until December to get them, which means they're not in stock anywhere. And then maybe, I don't know where else we want to go. We're not really in a shoppy mood. No, no. I've done all my shopping. Yeah, Sophie got some lovely bits, as you saw. I think because it's that festive time of year, we're just kind of in that, that mindset where we're like, steer clear of shops because they're full. Also, if you've never been to Zadel, this is so sweet. I very regularly, like if I'm in town, I will come and I will get a coffee and a punch of class sit out here. I've sat out here numerous times just on my own watching the world go by. <laughs> What did I just say? It, yeah. it definitely doesn't exist. Boom, we found it. Ooh, I like the jacket. Ooh. I am in love. I'm going straight online when I get home. That is actually to really order. Cool. Isn't this just a bit of me? Oh, I would love so the coat in there. Thank you. The grey coat, bit of me. This bit of me. Wow. Sandra. <laughs> is your go? <laughs> um, I, 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 I go got me. Win. Come on. Sick. I love. Sick. I love. Uh. Bit. Bit. Baby, you're yeah. like. Okay. Good at this. Okay. It's a red light. We shouldn't go. When you know. Ha. Happy birthday. No. What? No. Ha. Well, that was different. Ha. Ha. I'm not sure I get it. Come on, I'm even doing like the little vibrato thing. Go. Have yourself a merry little Yes! That was so obvious. It's not though, is it? We're going to Lululemon. Whoopee. Tell us off. I think you should buy me some more Lululemon. Um, I just gave you a pair of Lululemon leggings. They're my Lululemon <laughs> Yeah, but you haven't had them for a few months, so because it's like they're new. Stole no, no, mum, mum mixed up our washing, which she never does. And then I moved, and I moved with her Lululemon leggings. And I had your Lululemon leggings, but I didn't wear them because they didn't feel right. Because yours are different to mine. No, they're exactly the same. I know, but they feel different. The only like difference it. is the size. Anyway, we're going into Lululemon to browse. Uh huh. Browse. See how many bags we come out with. Yeah. We've come for a walk on Bond Street, and I think we're going to go and grab a coffee from Ralph's and a hot chocolate. It's but what? Very fancy. It's so fancy. What were you saying about? We're talking about names. Mum wants, wants to call it Jimmy. Dad said, "Imagine standing on the beach and shouting Jimmy." <laughs> So I actually haven't spoken about this on here and I don't know if now's not the right time but my family aren't getting a new dog right now but they're just talking about you know like future dogs if they were to get a dog and 
they were then discussing names and I was saying I love the name Flynn and mum's name suggestions haven't been going down very well. Dad and Sophie seem to be very aligned and then obviously it's nothing to do with me but yeah dad and Sophie are very aligned and then mum's just seem to be very left field. Mum said, right, do you know what she said to me? What? Google popular boys names from the 1900s. <laughs> See that's a bit of me, I would do that. Yeah, we be like, so do you want to call us a Bartholomew? Yeah, that's so cute! No. You know what, I heard someone's name earlier and I was like, that's an amazing name. Lavinia. Ooh. I love that. Imagine a little like, girl dash hand called Lavinia. That would be so Lavinia? Oh, I love it, but it would sound like you were mad every time you shouted their name because it's one of those names. Yeah. Like, it's a very Cinderella stepsister name. Yeah. But I love it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so festive. Yeah. But the line's so long, isn't it? We're not waiting in the line. It's like 50 people long. So random, we were just stood there looking at the line saying absolutely not. And out of the corner of my eye, I see someone and I was like, wait, that's Nadia. I don't know if you guys follow Nadia Anya. Uh, she, I met her, well, I've met her a few times at like events, but we went to Bordeaux together with Cordley earlier in the year. And you know when you see someone, you're like, wait, I, I know that person. And it clicked, I literally went out loud and I was like, oh my God, Nadia. And she turned around and she was like, oh, so funny. I love when things like that happen. We're just taking a little stroll through Burlington Arcade because I thought we could head down and I'll get a coffee and some chop from Carpo and probably get mum a drink too actually so when we meet her because yeah Ralph's was just far too busy and the coffee's not well in my opinion I don't actually like the coffee they use that much the hot chocolates are really good but I'd rather go somewhere that I don't have to line up and I can get amazing coffee and it's yeah <laughs> it just makes more sense and we can get some chocolate too would you like some cornflake chocolate you you will like it it's really yum I'm home and I cannot believe how dark and cold it is. It's like 4.30. I am going to sit and eat some leftover mac and cheese. There's really not much left, considering we did the whole skillet. Uh, Sophie and I were eating it this morning. I am going to put a YouTube video on the telly. The telly, who am I? And sit and eat this, and then I'll show you the updates of what mum, Sophie, and I did this morning. But I'm just so cold, I need to warm up. So it's better the next day. The plate's kind of messy because I mixed the butter on it first, but oh my goodness. On the way home, I was just like scrolling on Instagram, and I saw someone had made banana bread with a cinnamon salted butter and I was like I have banana bread at home so I made a cinnamon salted butter and I just heated it up and it's insane it's so good I'm on piece number two so finally a week after I initially ordered them to the wrong address my tension rods have arrived for well hopefully this is going to work I'm going to have some gardens around them and a decoration out of it. I had the loveliest day with mum and Sophie today, just kind of bopping around Soho, it was so nice. And then I got back and just sat on the sofa, catching up on everything for a couple of hours. Well, this looks well padded. I mean, the size of this, it should be quite big because the gap is like 270 centimeters, 290 is big. That was such an unnecessary amount of packaging. Goodness me. Wow. I don't know how easy this is going to be or how successful. This is definitely one of those things I'm just like trying out. And it's definitely something I shouldn't be doing this late in the day. But you know what? Sometimes it's okay to start things and finish them in the morning when you have more energy. I mean, it looks pretty straightforward. It's a couple of rods with some pads, you know? How can it be that hard? Okay. Oh, I don't want it to damage my walls, obviously. Also, I've got my Anim Bin hoodie on, well, sweatshirt, but did I ever tell you the story? I'm assuming this goes on here, I don't know if it does. Did I ever tell you the story of my Anim Bin grey hoodie that just went missing? Because I, I don't remember if I ever told you. So basically, I had the grey Anim Bin hoodie, really loved it, wore it all the time, and I took it on the trip that I went on to North Dakota, and it disappeared. I had no idea what happened, but when I got back, I didn't have the hoodie and I've just never been able to find it. So someone in North Dakota has a very lovely Anine Bing hoodie. That is mine. <laughs> um, I should probably see if there's an instruction. It only fits in one way around, which tells me it goes that way. Oh, there's the instructions. Fixed base. Okay, this. This goes on this. Fine. Oh, so this is just an extension rod and this is the telescopic body installation. So this should open up and get longer. Like that. Okay. Fine. Not long enough, though. So we need the extension in. So how do you add the extension? 
Maybe this goes in here. Okay, yes, but how do you secure that? You just hope and pray. Oh, but how do you get them to stay? You know those things that you insist you don't need instructions for, but if you did read the instructions, you'd be done 10 times quicker. I mean, it worked and it feels pretty solid. So it's just whether it's going to hold the garlands up. I'm honestly so intrigued. I feel like we should do it now. So I have multiple garlands and it's just where we start. Obviously, I would love to use the ones that I have plenty of because it's very big space. Or we just mix and match, is it really that deep? I mean, this could look terrible and I could decide this is not what I want to do, but I feel like we should try it. Oh, by the way, please ignore the pile of things. That is everything that needs to go into a home that doesn't have a home and I decided to put it here. So I told you that I had ordered one thing, one Christmas decoration and this is it. I ordered some new garlands and basically every other garland that I have, I feel like I know where I want it and have a home for it. And I knew I wanted to do this garland whole curtain situ. So I placed an order on Balsam Hill, which is where I have most of my garlands from, from the size one. It's stunning. This is a bit more of a, uh, <laughs> like a fake looking one, but I feel like it's got way more foliage and I just think it's gonna add way more interest. Oh wait, no, it feels so fake. Oh, well, that's far too fake for me. It's plasticky. I mean, I wonder what it looks like when you pull it out. I'm like trying to imagine it. Out I just don't know if it'll dangle. Wait, let me go and get one of the other ones and we can compare. Oh my gosh, there is literally no comparison. These are so much nicer and fluffier and the texture is better, the look is better. I'm gonna have to send those back. I love how earlier in Vlogmas I was like, don't expect those Instagram decorations. Don't expect too much of me. Well, what are we doing right now? What are we doing? Mm, it seems to be lower. I don't want to scratch the paint. I'm not enjoying myself. As with most things that I'm finding in the house, it is 100% a two-person job. I think it will look good, but I think I need to wrap the pole in something green and I need someone basically holding the other end because it's heavy and long and I'm not that strong. However, I do think I'll be able to do the smaller one, but I think we'll do that tomorrow because it's too much for me. It's too much. I'm going to tidy up and uh, we tried. We started the process, you know? If it's gonna look good, it's not gonna be easy to achieve or everyone will be doing it, but I think everyone is going to do this this year. Are you ready to see how it's looking? Ta-da! I honestly think it looks so cute in here now with the rug. Let me switch this on so you can see. I mean, tell me that's not the sweetest thing. I can't wait to have my sofa in here. It's going to look so cute. This, I think, eventually is going to go into the gym. And then this mirror is going to stay there, but I am going to have it mounted. But yeah, it's um, coming together. It's feeling really cozy and warm in here. And I have a footstool coming too. And it's actually the fabric of the footstool that I got is the same fabric as the sofa in the snug, but I intend on having it in here it would be nice because it's the same like style of fabric it's herringbone but it's a different color so i think that'll look really nice it'll just you know add some interest to the room but i am so tired can you tell but i just wanted to talk about something let me sit down with you wow a lovely little vlogging shop also you can see uh nigel's down here he's got his home uh, but I kind of briefly mentioned something earlier and then I was like, wait, oh, this isn't the time and place to talk about this. But I did just want to like, you know, tell you because otherwise I kind of just left you hanging and it's a bit weird and it's like, how do I bring it back up? But a few weeks ago we had something very sad happened in our family and we actually lost our family dog Max, which was just so heartbreaking, so hard and just was so, so layered. Um, I don't really want to go into what happened, but basically he got poorly and yeah, it, it's just, it's so sad. And I think especially with him being here and now my parents' house being empty, it's, I mean, you'll know this if you've ever lost a dog, it's one of the hardest things you ever go through. When I lost Alfie, which was our family dog, I have never felt pain like it, like genuinely, never ever. And I, yeah, I just feel, <laughs> excuse me. So yeah, obviously that, was incredibly sad for our family. I didn't say anything about it on socials. I think you probably have um, like gathered by now. I don't really talk about death on my socials. I've, I've had quite a lot of death over the past few years of my life. And I'm sure some of you that maybe 
are from my hometown or maybe you know someone that I know and you know you've heard through the grapevine that something's happened in, in my life and you've just kind of seen me carrying on and I've not mentioned it and you're like oh that's strange but it's just a boundary for me and it's something that I like to process privately and that's not just with you guys that's like in in general like in in life it's just something that I keep very close to my chest I don't really talk about it with my friends I talk about it with you know who I need to talk about it with and then I deal with it on my own. I, as I've said in previous, come cuddle me, you can't just sit there and cry. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say on that, but I did just want to let you know. And it's very, very sad, but my, my family aren't looking into getting another dog, but they, you know, it's something, you know when something like that happens, you, you talk about it, don't you? Which is why they were talking about dog names. I'm so sad. But I think this room looks amazing. I cannot wait to fill my dressing room tomorrow. That's going to be so fun. That's what we're doing tomorrow, if you're new here. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. Finally, we're going to have a clear guest room. We're going to have this room pretty much done. The dressing room will be filled. Then we'll do the gym. Well, I've just done a very brief seven minute tidy and I am going to head up to bed. Very tired. I didn't get to sleep actually until quite late last night. I think because we were doing quite a lot and then I got into bed and then I was talking to a couple of my friends and yeah, suddenly it was like 1.30 in the morning and then it was 6 a.m. and I was like, oh. But I am going to love you and leave you. As I said, tomorrow we're doing the dressing room which is going to be so exciting. But I must say, I am very much struggling with the weather right now. So I think I'm going to have just like a very slow day tomorrow. We're we'll going a lovely slow walk with me wrapped up didn't wrap up properly today when i went out i was fine when i took him out in the morning and then i got changed into like nicer outfit it, it's so frustrating isn't it i feel like this time of year just ruins my outfits i either feel really put together and look good by freeze and then i'm in pain or i feel like i just wear the same thing every day which is some form of trouser with leggings underneath to keep me warm and my Canada Goose coat, which is just, it's not very fun. But anyway, what a problem to have, you know? That's well problem. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you, but you do not have to wait very long because I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Thank you for being here. If you've made it this far and you're still watching every day, the thumbs up goes a long way. And I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night, good night.